I'm going to do a three card spread. Pick a card. A most common three card spread would be past, present, and future about any situation, another three card spread. And it's really about what intention you set. Let's say I was setting the intention to know how my week was going to go. I would do a three card spread for the beginning of my week, the middle of the week and the end of the week. You can also do it for a whole month. You can do as many cards as you like. If you want seven days to represent every day of the week, seven cards, absolutely fine. The cards will give you whatever message that you need to show you the energy that you are projecting, your thoughts, your feelings about your life in your reality. That's the energy that is going to come out and be represented in your cards, whatever cards you draw, whatever spread you create. It's just about your intention. Another one, this is another card deck, the Lyran Oracle. It has a three card that I really like. It's the cosmic self spread. The first card they say would represent your soul self and serves as a message from your future self about the underlying mission of your life. The next card is for ways to properly initiate the mission. Final card is what your life will look like when you have embodied your mission and you have incorporated suggestions for how to do it. So I think I'm going to do this in two ways. I'm going to do the past, present, and future spread, three cards. I'm going to do this as a pick a card. And then I'm also going to do it with my Lyran Oracle cards. And we're going to see how they work out with the cosmic self spread together. I'm going to set an intention and reshuffle the cards. Group one, group two, group three. This is a timeless tarot reading, past, present, and future, whatever message that they need right now or whenever they find this tarot reading for group one, three card, past, present, and future about a situation that they need. Ooh, it gave me four cards. So group one, group card one, card two, card three, and card four the star. I am lucky and blessed every day. Anything is possible when you receive this magical card in your reading. Have faith for the star can bring luck, blessings, and positive opportunities on your path if you believe and listen. Let the star guide you and inspire you with hope. Infinite possibilities can appear in your life when you have hope. Go with the flow. Allow these positive changes to happen and remember to take physical action so that you can achieve your goals faster. The death card. I am open to positive changes in my life. When the death card appears, it could mean that you are going through a massive transition. For you to powerfully transform into a better you, there will be an element of death that has to occur first. Letting go of old beliefs and behaviors can help you welcome new opportunities into your life. View these changes as positive experiences and allow yourself to be reborn. Page of Pentacles An upside down page of pentacles can mean that you are so busy daydreaming about new ideas that you're ignoring the ones that are already there. You have many goals and it's hard to keep track of what you are doing. Jump on back to the beginning. Why did you want your original goal in the first place? Recommit to your goal and take action to reach your dreams. Reversed Four of Swords is warning you that you are almost out of gas. You need to stop right now or you will burn out. Your energy is dangerously low, probably from working long hours. And if you do not take the time to rest, your body will crash. You will not be able to help anyone then. So group number one, in the past, you've made a wish with the star. And right now in the present with the death card, you need to release something that's not serving you so that you can let this wish come in and to manifest. In the future outcome with the page of pentacles, you have all of these things manifested and you're still daydreaming about even more things, but you're actually not taking action on the dreams that you've already achieved. And then you also have this additional future of burnout that you're just working so hard trying to achieve so many dreams that you need to take a minute and you need to get some rest. And it's probably because your wish absolutely came true. And 
once you achieve that, you just wanted to dive into creating more things, which is great, but take the time to just enjoy all of the beautiful things that you are manifesting. And obviously you have success in that, so much success that it tires you out. <laughs> so let's go see what your life mission is and maybe we can make sense about everything that you are doing. And now from the Lyran cards, three cards, group one, message from your future self. There it is. Collective consciousness. Okay, card number two is gonna be how to implement your steps for your mission. Ooh, too many. Okay, that's, this one stayed though. Galactic victory. Third card. There, ooh, there it is. The collective consciousness, tap into the alive field. So this is a message from your highest consciousness, your highest self. Divine star seed of earth, you reside in a universe where waves of energy reside all around yourself through collective fields that impact all parts of your life. These collective fields or wave signatures, as we like to deem them, are often beyond the 3D vision like air currents, sound currents, solar currents, etc. But once uncovered, are found to be an influential part of everything in your reality. Some of these influencing wave streams are the collective consciousness, the earth consciousness, the solar consciousness, the universal consciousness, and beyond. Collective consciousness, for example, can be seen as an alive database that is the accumulation of all your entire species field of vibration and thought. How this field works is to say you are feeling certain emotions or undergoing a certain thought pattern. This frequency is downloaded and absorbed into the collective consciousness that your entire human race is connected towards either subconsciously or consciously. The collective conscious is subtly impacting each one of you since from different dimensional vantage points, you are one collective. Through one's awareness of this field, the starseed begins to realize that they are not just at the mercy of the collective consciousness, but can also interact with it through broadcasting the frequency of their choosing into it. Through this natural advanced cosmic vibration you carry, you are always impacting the collective consciousness simply through your presence on earth. Each consciousness, on the other hand, is the collection of your flora and fauna, environments, animals, inner earths, and feeling the totality for the intelligence of your planet. The solar consciousness is to feel the orbit of all the planets that gravitate around your sun. Universal consciousness senses the entire collective of all species and life forms, including us and the many beings that make up the universal collective field. The more one begins to sense these collectives, the more they gain access to interact with them and merge with ultra intelligence, which is really yourself. The card of collective consciousness arrives when you are being guided into a larger field of consciousness. Attempt to step out of the individual lens of ego perspective and tap into a greater unified earth or universal field. Through the access to one of these larger fields, you will receive missing pieces of the puzzle in order to detach from any trivial stresses which may be impacting your thought processes. Now is a time to not take situations so personally as they may be playing out through a larger field. You are simply being guided to detach and allow your awareness to tap you into the larger mind of the collective field so your human can access more information. Alternative meanings of this card can indicate that now is a time to pay attention to what your collective surroundings need. Perhaps it is time to listen to family members, friends, colleagues, and get a general pulse for your collective surroundings so that you can adjust with wisdom rather than fight against the current. You will find that the more you tune into your surroundings, the more you will understand your role at the moment. This is a time to step back and become aware of the field so you can be guided. Okay, so how to implement this message? Galactic victory, victory, rebirth, full potential. The collective has slowed their heart rate, merged with the intelligence of the planet, and returned fully to their galactic awareness to bring forth generations of peace, 
for all beings on earth. These are the stories that will be communicated to the entire universe after your star soul mission is accomplished here on earth. What this feels like is a unified heart-based planet that has gone from a war mentality to co-creative harmony and unification with all existence. Can you imagine for a second what it looks like when 7 billion souls work together in harmony? Can you see what your earth looks like when human beings are led by their heart? We want you to experience this at the core of your star-seeded essence, allowing for it to vibrate all around you and expand into the alive field. From our multidimensional lens, this reality is much closer than you may imagine when the ability for planetary consciousness to transform at the blink of an eye. We share these visions to bring forth within you inspiration, hope, and imagination for you are the frequency that Earth needs at this moment. Recognize who you are and honor the beauty that is you through self-love and kind, compassionate thoughts. Through this internal honoring, your perception shifts and you in turn see the reality with divine inspiration through all whom cross your path. Beloved, it is time to believe in what is possible for you and your entire collective. Know you have been sent here alongside many other sacred star souls to bring your planet into the new earth frequency. Until then, your universal allies are on standby waiting for the day when earth proclaims a galactic victory, not through the forced liberation of others, but through the empowerment of you liberating yourselves. This card arrives when now is an optimal time to move confidently in your life path, knowing that the entire universe is supporting your life mission. If there is any residue from false media programming or what is possible for Earth, now is an opportune moment to reconnect with your inner mastery and remember the world that you have been sent here to create. These remembrances serve as interdimensional gateways that empower all your field. Honor these codes within. An additional meaning of this card could serve as a guidance to start bringing forth the new earth frequencies into your environment through service. Perhaps there is a community initiative or some idea you can seed into your field to make others more connected to each other. You are being guided to open the doorway of service and act upon ideas that help others remember whom they are. And then lastly, when you do this, ultimately you become infinite wisdom. The Akashic field surrounds all of you, broadcasting its infinite knowledge to all who tuned into her station. Like a scribe that has recorded every single word for an event, the field of Akasha contains the records for every single story of creation, embedding it into the alive field for all to receive. As your consciousness grows in self-knowledge and humanity begins to access the higher dimensional plane, your species will find itself naturally accessing this field of the Akasha, gaining an ability to download and receiving precious information from any inquiry of your choosing. This process will allow for your society to become a truth-receiving collective with the scribes of Akasha revealing all. Through the power of Akasha, a greater knowledge is always revealed. Say, for example, you are connecting with a rock on your plane. Through your Akashic awareness, you can begin to sense the creation story of this rock, where it came from, what it experienced, and open into an intelligence-based conversation to learn from its story and wisdom. This process has been uncovered by many ancient Earth-based societies who recognize the foundational truth that all is alive and holds a database of memory. The human that is plugged into the alive field will always be tapped into a field of empowerment, finding wisdom through every encounter. The human that disregards the aliveness in all of creation will struggle with higher concepts and likely engage in a warlike mentality with themselves and others, operating from the perception that they are separate. Fundamentally, the belief that all is alive is a foundational knowing to open up all greater awareness. This card of infinite wisdom arrives when either your kosh is beginning to open or an awareness to this field is seeking to be utilized more. When you explore your akasha, it opens the knowledge into past and future incarnations of your soul, his or her story. Whatever is playing out, now is an ideal time to tap into your cosmic knowing and begin to request from the Akash on the knowledge for any subject of your curiosity. Tune into your self-awareness, quiet your thoughts, and seek with an open mind to listen towards whatever is to be received. 
In addition, you can utilize the field of Akasha to go deeper into your unique interests and passions. Say, for example, you are passionate about food preparation. One can use this passion to communicate with the various ingredients that you often use, so you may develop a deeper level of understanding for how to use them properly. If you are a musician, you can attempt to feel into the frequency of certain notes and develop a communication with these frequencies to understand how they were used in sound healing cultures or how their vibration affects others. If you have an animal near your living space, attempt to go deeper than simple banter and exchange communication by asking them telepathically more about their journey. We provide these examples as we want you to traverse deep into the alive field and through this you will know that everything is alive and holds a memory. Declare out loud, I am open to the entire living field. I am open to receive from my Akash. And that is you, the infinite wisdom that you are becoming. So ultimately, your highest self is telling you to tap in to the collective consciousness. And it's telling you to do it through service by helping others to reawaken to their true mastery, their true self. Ultimately, when you do this, you will have more connection to all knowledge, all wisdom through your Akash. And that is your mission in life. And when we go back to past, present and future, you were a hopeful star, you made your wish. Ultimately, death means that a cycle has ended and a new one begins. And then in the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Swords, these are both saying it's time to wake up. The cycle that you were in, that you were making this wish on has ended and you are in a new cycle and it's time to stop daydreaming about it and to start acting on it. So it's a call to reawaken your life's mission of being of service to the collective. And when you do that, you reconnect fully to the Akash, to all knowledge, to all wisdom, and can do even more to help the collective consciousness to even another higher frequency of evolution and to the new earth. So group one, absolutely amazing. I'm here with you to support you in your collective consciousness, service, and awakening. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. Hello group two, I set the intention for a timeless three card spread, past, present, and future for whatever message that group two needs. Oh, card one. Oh, that's too many, but I do feel that it's you. And third card, future, group two, whatever need right now. Aha. This is about your current situation. The Knight of Pentacles. I am reliable and efficient at everything I do. The Knight of Pentacles suggests that you are very productive and are incredibly set on turning your goals into reality. Keep staying focused and taking the action that you need in order to get one step closer to your goal. Your manifestation garden is starting to sprout. Slow and steady is a good pace, so stick to your plan and you will eventually accomplish your goals. The Three of Cups. Take the time to celebrate your success and happiness with loved ones. Let your family and friends support you and help you reach your highest potential. Have the time of your life. Cheers to new friends and the adventures you will have together. Your future outcome. Three of Wands. So the future says... As you are expanding and gaining success, you will be aware of more opportunities floating your way. These opportunities add to the excitement and they add more fire for you to reach your goals. Although some of these opportunities may take you out of your comfort zone, learn to welcome the changes, make adjustments so that everything moves along smoothly and let these changes help you dream bigger than ever before. Oh, that's really nice. Group number two. Now we're gonna add from the Laren Oracle, it's another three card spread. And this is a message, card one, from your highest self about your life's mission. Ooh, that's too many. I only need three. I'm gonna take the first one. Middle Earth Dragons, and then how you accomplish your life mission. Ooh, okay, too many. The final outcome, doing the things to accomplish. 
a message from your highest self. Middle Earth Dragons. Deep within your earth rests a central core that serves as the nucleus to your planet's vitality. Just as your body has much more to it beyond the skin level, so too does your earth contain hidden secrets which are unknown to many of the collective population. Traveling through these deep chambers into the Middle Earth reveals the homes to many ultra-dimensional beings who are already in contact with us and the intergalactic councils. Tuning into the soil, one may begin to sense some of these beings whom have resided on Earth for longer than humankind. In particular, we speak of the dragon species that predate your solar system's birth. Arriving into the Milky Way originally via Andromeda, the dragons possess within them advanced ancient wisdom. The journey of the dragons arriving on Earth is far-reaching and wide, but the general story is that many of these beings entered your solar system during times of instability on Orion's belt. At that time, the Orion region was in a full-scale galactic war that eventually breached into the Vega Lyra and resulted in our people fleeing to Sirius B. These were, of course, dark times for the universe at large and resulted in a mass migration of various root races, including us and the dragons. Humanity begins to find a great empowerment by connecting with these gentle yet powerful dragon beings. Through the acknowledgement of their presence, they shall soon return to the surface world to reveal their advanced knowledge with all. A question we receive is, why do humans not see them? Certain species operate on such a high vibratory frequency that for many it is simply impossible to connect with them on the physical plane at this moment. When you begin to train your awareness in the multidimensional field, you can begin to experience these species. The metaphor we relate to seeing them is similar to the spirit world or currents of air. Some are capable on your planet of seeing loved ones that have passed away, while others cannot. Similarly, some instruments on Earth can detect the flowing of oxygen and map its flow, while others have no idea it exists from a visual perspective. We provide these examples as there are many fields of experience in this grand universe. The human begins to open up into the dimensional fields by fine-tuning their awareness through inner exploration and various starseed training. Through dragon contact from the energetic perspective, the human psyche begins to connect many dots for each species acts as a puzzle piece that reveals the greater story of creation. This means that the dragon race is seeking to serve your evolution and awaits for the day that your people return back to the multidimensional way of operation, like in past times. Fortunately, this process has begun in large numbers through each one of you. When the card of Middle Earth Dragons arrives, it's stating that your elemental family on Earth is seeking for you to connect with them. In addition to the dragons, be open to any ultra-dimensional species contact with examples not limited to gnomes, elves, pixies, fairies, sasquatches, etc. That many ancient cultures have spoken on in Earth honoring cultures. You will find that the more you connect with the various Middle Earth beings, the more you will understand the secrets of existence. Root to the Middle Earth and allow for these sacred transmissions to come through with deeper truths received. Ooh, I like that. And then how to do that is peaceful reunion. Through this precious journey on Earth, the human incarnate goes through many sorts of relationships to teach their soul lessons via interaction. These relationships of all kind offer deep pools of wisdom designed to elicit certain reactions, responses, or gifts as instructed through our higher selves. The Peaceful Reunion card is presented when loved ones from your past are seeking to commune with you in this moment. Is there an individual from your past that you may have had a fallout with or have not spoken to in a long time? The arrival of this card might indicate that a time of peaceful reunion is approaching and a proper closure or new beginning might be on the horizon. Perhaps there is an old friend, teacher, family member, or even an ex-lover. Whomever it might be, know that in our cyclical universe, planets that cross and don't see each other for light years, once again cross in the cyclical dance of existence. If you feel it might be inappropriate to connect in physical reality with this certain individual, this card can indicate for you to engage with them from the soul level instead. 
reach out through prayer or soulful communication and share any words from the heart for this being to receive. An alternate meaning of this card can indicate that now is a good time to connect with social groups or give gratitude to beings who helped you on your journey. Reunions bring healing. Okay, and then the final outcome is the greater plan. The greater plan. Our Lyran story is deep, ancient, and long traversing beyond the confines of human linear time into moments where time was once at a literal standstill. The Lyran White Lion Collective is indeed an ancient breed from the greater galactic timeline perspective, placed here to share our plethora of learned experiences with other fellow intergalactic beings such as yourselves. Through our witnessing of much transformation, we have developed a unique perspective that we feel can highly benefit your collective species, just as your experiences benefit us. One of the major core lessons from our society is that whatever life presents, there is always a much deeper wisdom transpiring beyond the surface level. Just as beyond your skin rests a universe of cells and aliveness that is constantly in regeneration, so too does your life have much greater meaning. To access this deeper field, it is imperative that the star seed enters into a state of non-judgmental awareness that facilitates for the dots of the greater story to connect and reveal wisdom. This occurs when the shadow mind stops reacting and surrenders to truth. You, dear one, are in this process of surrender, and this card comes as a gentle reminder to accept the ebbs and flows of whatever is playing out to gain the most from it. When you drop resistance to particular situations or events, your soul awareness opens up for you to understand the perfection of the moment. Know that you are in a transistory universe and life is carrying you somewhere beyond this present moment. Now is an ideal moment to go easy on yourself, express self-compassion, and trust you are in full alignment with the greater plan. This card indicates to surrender, let go, and allow the higher intelligence to guide your life path. All is well. And I think that is who you will embody, is this peaceful, non-judgmental, inspiring force of a person that will shift many to also let go of the ego, let go and surrender, and to just allow the beautiful unfolding of your life's mission, your life path. Very beautiful. Congratulations. So many opportunities are coming your way. I love how both of these, you know, with your life mission plus past, present, and future, you have been someone who has just been really good about knowing your goals knowing where you're headed and when all of these new opportunities start coming being connected to these elemental energies and staying grounded is gonna bring you into this very wise person who others are gonna just be so inspired by and are now in this place of zen and just allowing the unfolding of this beautiful journey so group number two thank you so much and i look forward to seeing you in my next video Bye for now. Hello, group number three. <laughs> Your card already jumped out. Um, I set the intention for a past, present, and future. Three card spread about any situation. Timeless message. Oh, dear. It's too many cards. What is your present situation? Oh, we've got a new one. Three card spread. Past, present, and now the future. All right. So your past... The hermit reminds us that the answers you seek will be found deep within your magical soul. Take some quiet alone time to hear your authentic self. Let your inner light guide you. Attend a spiritual retreat to do some self-reflection. Or find time away from the public eye and meditate on your own to attain a deep understanding of life. Very nice. That's what you have been doing. And now this is your present. The Knight of Swords. I can achieve anything I put my mind and magic to. Oh, right now is the time for you to charge forward and create the action that you need to succeed. You know precisely what you need to do and how to do it. So trust your intellect and the energy of the Knight of Swords to guide you. That's really nice. And then your final outcome is the Queen of Swords. 
Right now is the time to be upfront and truthful. There is no time for you to beat around the bush, so don't bother lying. Use your intellect and intuition to communicate effectively and others will respect your opinion. When you are honest and get straight to the point, it will lessen confusion and you will be able to accomplish your goals faster. Stand tall and be heard. This is a really nice progression. So in the past of whatever this message is, it was all about gaining the knowledge and connecting to your goals. And then the Knight of Swords is acting on that information and achieving your goals. And then the future is you using your intellect and intuition to communicate effectively and others will absolutely respect your opinion because you've already done all of this learning, this knowledge gathering, and here you are now at the top of your game, able to lead others and standing tall and being heard. So you are definitely going to have a platform. Let's see the Lyran Oracle. So from the Lyran Oracle, we're going to do another three card spread. And this will be a message about your life mission from your highest self. So timeless message, group number three, what is their life mission? Uh oh. Now, how are they going to achieve this field of potentiality? Ooh. And who do they become? Ooh. A message from your highest self, the field of potentiality. The multiverse is a field of unlimited possibilities for the star seed to open through the quantum universe. When attuning to one's crown chakra, the star seed can connect to a field of infinite timelines and verses, which can all be calibrated towards one's unique vibration. From the subatomic level, your reality had quantum particles built into everything and they are consistently interacting with yourself and the alive field with you being able to set the coordinates to the reality of your choosing. The quantum field is always linked to your inner state and by you consciously interacting with it, the human gains an ability to choose the timelines that they seek to enter at will. This process begins by setting forth the vibratory signature of the world you seek to enter via your emotions, thoughts, feelings, and visualizations. Through this process, your codes are inputted into the field and the quantum particles begin to match this frequency with precision. Know, dear starseed, that you are infinite and have always had the freedom to not only change your life, but change the entire reality you find yourself in. Know that your thoughts, vibrational frequency, and perceptional awareness are constantly interacting with the quantum field and setting the coordinates to where you would like to enter. Know that you have the highest technology within. An additional meaning of this card can be that the universe is requesting for you to guide it to the reality you desire. The metaphor we give is that when going to a restaurant, it is your responsibility to place the order at the restaurant, but the rest is up to the external field to deliver it to your table. Place your order and have faith that it will all be delivered in divine timing. Ask and it is given. Become. And so it is. I love that. Okay. How you, you get here to your perfect restaurant. 21 color spectrums. Begin to simply observe the reality that you find yourself in. And you will soon be reminded how blessed one is to observe this fantastic display of color. Frequency that swirls around and illuminates all in your reality. Vibrating as different octaves in the living field around you. These vibrations of color dance with your senses and influence the way that you interact with life itself. Each color adheres to a specific vibrational frequency. And through these pulsations, they interact with your auric field and soon enter into your physical temple to impact your health, emotions, well-being, and psyche. To be aware of your interaction with the color spectrums provides you with the ability to decode whether the environment around you is empowering your life or not. Know, dear starseed, that your environment, specifically the colors around you, are constantly interacting with your consciousness to influence all parts of your life. We deliver this communication as an encouragement for one to explore their relationship to specific colors and embed around themselves specific colors to uplift their environment and life. This can mean to wear certain colors or visualize colors that serve you in the moment. Although this may sound simplistic, 
These small changes will harmonize your life greatly as the color spectrum serve as pillars of impact. In addition to the above, this card can represent moving locations, redesigning your interior space, or serving as an indication that your life is in need of a major shakeup. It is time to add some spice in your life and shake up your routine. Change the colors in your field and begin this process. Wow, and ultimately, your future is flow. Dear human, you have walked down so many winding roads in this existence called life, confronting moments of sheer joy and then moments full of doubt that have led to questioning your very existence. You have sometimes wondered if this life makes any sense and then have had moments of pure inner enlightenment where everything makes sense. Through this evolutionary journey of constant ups and downs, you have begun as a starseed to train yourself to access the an equilibrium field as taught by many of the masters on your plane. This planet you reside on with its gravitational pull creates a force of polar opposites that your species gets to experience. Although this training can feel intense in many ways, it also leads to a high level of advancement where one is trained to merge all the polarities through the state of the middle ground. This is a state that is not too affected by the highs or lows, but tapped to a neutrality that is able to bridge polarities and see the connection of one event leading to another event in a divine dance, just as night leads to day. The card of flow arise when rather than consistently react to what is occurring right now, you are being guided to remain calm as you allow waves of life to ride you to your divine destination. Begin to use breath as an ally when confronted with any potential situations, knowing that whatever is playing outside yourself is guiding you forward towards merging with your infinite self. This can also equate as a kind reminder to slow down on jumping to any immediate conclusions and take a much needed pause, knowing that the intelligence of the universe is seeking to provide greater wisdom. Ride the polarities of consciousness. Be in the flow. This is incredible. So, you know, you are definitely someone who knows exactly what you're doing and you really don't even need this reading, but if it helps to give you proof that you are definitely on the right path, you are meant to be connected to the field of potentiality and just literally flow there and you'll always be in that flow. And the only thing that you need to do is maybe tap into more color spectrums, knowing that there's energy in the color that can help you towards your goals and will just keep you in that flow. You are absolutely in the flow state. You are unstoppable. You have already done all of this study and now you're taking those, these swords are thoughts and your ideas and you're taking those <laughs> and acting on it. And ultimately you just become this master of all of this wisdom, all of this knowledge and are just going to create the most amazing life. And you're also going to be in a position where others are going to want that information from you. They're going to want to learn everything that you can teach them about how to do exactly what you're doing. So group number three, really incredible, timeless message. Come back to it every time you have, you might have even a doubt that you are on the right path. And just, if you just need that confirmation that you are absolutely a powerful manifester and are creating this amazing life. Ooh, is that pretty? Group number three, congratulations. I'm honored and blessed to be on a journey with all of you. Thank you, everybody. All of these groups were fantastic. Go back and watch all of them, but simple three card spread, whatever you set the intention for, the cards will give you an answer. Use as many cards as you need. Sometimes the cards have more <laughs> messages than you specify and just be willing to accept it. Um, if you go back and you'll see group number one has four past, present, and future cards. And it was just because that was the message for them. So just trust that whatever comes through, it's always gonna make sense somehow. And it's always gonna resonate with whoever needs that message. It was lovely to do this reading for you. Thank you group number three, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.